Um, first of all, can I say I'm actually, I feel very privileged and albeit a little bit nervous speaking on this because sometimes we come in here and we speak about things which are a little bit outside, whereas today I'm speaking about something which is quite close and quite personal. Um, first of all, to the Sinn Féin party, I just do want to remind you that you're not the only party who has the monopoly on what poverty looks like and smells like. We do too. As a Labour Party, as a Labour Party member, I'm very, um, you know, aware of what poverty looks like. And particularly as somebody who has grown up in Ballymun, who has chosen to live there in Ballymun, who went to what would be a desh school today, and whose brothers and sisters, children who go to desh schools today, knows what that's like. And I'm here today to talk about to the minister, and the minister knows this already, because I've said it to him, and I've brought back to him what I've heard on the ground. Not just from listening to teachers and things like that, but from people who I know, from my neighbours, who also have their kids who go to these desh, these desh, desh schools in particular. But first of all, can I say, desh does transform the lives of the children uh, who go to those schools. It is given for the first time along with the, 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 the post that went before, that the legacy post that we, thought we, we spoke about, it has given for the first time a chance to break the cycle of the communities that they live in. Some, the first TD from Ballymun is standing in here tonight start talking about it. The types of the work that the, the DESH schools are doing is allowing that to happen. We are seeing for the first time children in Ballymun and Finglas reaching the national literacy levels at the, at the age that the, that, that the rest of the ch young people around the, 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 the country are. That's because of the commitment of the extra resources that DESH brings to those schools. We can't afford to do anything to stop that. We need to continue to break the cycle. And I suppose, what's all this at the end of the day about? It is about giving people a fair chance. It's allowing people to reach their full potential to allow them maybe to have the literacy levels that when they go into secondary school that they're able to, to read properly and engage with school and not act out and end up outside the classroom. That's the type of things that DESH does. And what it does, it transforms the lives of the individuals who, who access these programmes and attend these schools. And on top of that, it, access, it, it transforms the families and ultimately the communities. The work that DESH has done and the, the projects that went before that just cannot be described in paper. And the Minister knows that, and everybody in here knows that. But I can tell you one thing. We need to continue what we're doing. We need to continue it to the measure, to the levels that we're doing it, Minister, and I spoke to you about this beforehand. Today, I will be supporting the counter motion, because I believe the last paragraph, there's, there's, there is spirit in the words of the last paragraph, to look at and review what DESH is offering at the moment. But there's one word of caution that I dare on, Minister, that I do ask and I do hope that at the end of that review, that that review will allow the schools who are delivering a top quality service and the teachers aren't dossing in it who are there as extra teachers. They're working more hours than probably some other teachers in other schools and not getting the pay and they're really earning their money because some of those teachers are working there for years. They're in there in the tough schools, they're earning their book, they work more than what they should do because they're committed. And the teachers who came to us are there because, are coming to us because they believe in the kids. It's not about having extra teachers in the school so one can sit in the staff room drinking tea. It's about delivering as much as they can at whatever scale they can to the needs that are in front of them. And we all know that the needs in these schools are acutely difficult. We have the most difficult of difficult children in these schools. But the great thing is that when the resources are put in, you can transform that, and that's what DESH is doing. So what I, would say, what I would say, Minister, is that I am confident that at the end of this review, that you will ensure that those DESH schools, DESH Band 1 and 2, will still have sufficient resources to continue to deliver the work that they are doing in order to hopefully have a John Lyons in here instead of me in another time.